Today I'm here marching for our lives uh, because I want to stand in support of the students um, all around the world who have died uh, because of senseless gun violence. Supporters of gun reform gathered in over 800 cities worldwide on Saturday, March 24th in solidarity with the students from Parkland, Florida, who recently lost 17 students to a mass shooting. In Vancouver, hundreds gathered to show their support. Guns are too easy to access. To know that there's so many people out there that support this cause is really hopeful and it's, it's been a true, true honor. The hashtag March for Our Lives rally focused on giving local student and teacher activists a platform and a voice. Keep our children safe! Keep our children safe! I'm all about that, trying to get the youth more involved, and I think our voices should always kind of be heard. Um, and, and once again, I said multiple times throughout this event, this is not just in the United States, this is everywhere across the world. My parents' first-hand experience, a war-torn country, you know, what used to be a paradise to them, is just has nothing left. And so I know the effects of what gun violence can do. We march for what? March for our lives! We march for what? March for our lives! curriculum is very, very clear. We have to teach them how to be active citizens. What is active citizenry if not this? This is not something that is one person over the other. This is something that lifts all of us. And, and we can see that today, that the beautiful mixture of everybody. Again, these are messages that I am teaching anyways. Guess what? It doesn't have to be in a textbook. And the last thing I would want is for teachers, for parents, to stand over the grave of a student so their own children and to say I could have done more. The Vancouver event was organized by Democrats Abroad, March on Vancouver, and local students. The central theme was calling on American lawmakers to pass common sense gun safety legislation. I'm really happy to be a part of this. This is another part of my sign. Injustice anywhere, I should threat for justice everywhere. So how can I as a teacher say, no, 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 you're too young. You're not ready. That's what leads to kids being apathetic. It leads them to be violent. I bet you 100%, I know it's not a very common statement to make, but those kids picking up those guns have been told for far too long you have no power. Laura Johnston in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.